الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم. Finishing the month of Ramadan, there is Ajr Azim in the month of Shawwal, as was narrated in the Hadith of Abi Ayyub al Ansari رضي الله تعالى عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من صام رمضان ثم اتبعه ستة من شوال كانت الصيام الدهر رواه مسلم. In this hadith of Abi Ayyub al-Ansari radiallahu ta'ala anhu that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said whoever fasts the month of Ramadan then follows it up with six days of shawal it is if he fasted the whole year. This hadith illustrates for us the importance of continuing on that that madrasa al khayr that path and methodology of goodness which is fasting and all the good that is contained within fasting within restraining ourselves restraining our tongues restraining our eyes restraining ourselves from food and drink in order to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to train ourselves train ourselves in this great act of ibadah and to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to achieve the great result of fasting, which is what? As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran, كُتُبَ عَلَيْكُمْ سِيَامْ كَمَا كُتُبَ عَلَى دِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ That it was written upon you to fast. Similar to the way it was written for those who came before you. In order that you will attain taqwa. So, fasting is an exhortion and is a, met, a means for us to gain taqwa, God-fearfulness, to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, refraining from those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited us from, and striving to attain those things which He subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded for us. So fasting the six days of Shawwal is a continuation of that khair and that great act of ibadah. And the person who does this is receiving a great reward as the Prophet Wasallam said, كَانَ كَسَيَامَ الدَّهَرَ That it is if they fasted the whole year. A couple of important points here to realize is that fasting, as the Prophet ﷺ mentioned in the beginning of the hadith, مَنْ سَامَ رَمَضَانْ ثُمَّ إِتْبَعُهُ سِتْتَ مِنْ شُوَالٍ So the scholars point out here that the person, as is mentioned, the Prophet ﷺ said, that whoever fasts Ramadan then follows it up with six days from Shual. Meaning that the person who f- completes their Ramadan then gets the six days of Shawal. It is if they perform, they fasted the whole year. Therefore, the person who does not complete their Ramadan, meaning they have to make qada, they have to make up some days, maybe they were sick, maybe they were traveling, maybe it was a woman and she had her menstruations, her, her menses, her menstruation cycle came during that time. So she should make up their fast. They should make up what they missed, then uh, fast the, the six days of Shawal. So you should not try to proceed by getting the six days of Shawal over the wajib, which is making up the month of Ramadan. And this is the case of Shawal. This is the case of Shawal because the Prophet ﷺ mentioned specifically. He said, Men sama Ramadan, whoever fasts Ramadan, thumma, then he used the word thumma, then he followed it up with six uh, from Shawal. This shows us that there's tartib, that there's an order to this. Thumma itzbahu said to men Shawal. Then he follows it up with the six days of Shawal. It is if he fasted the whole year. So, therefore, the scholars, they deduce from this that the person 
who fast the month of Ramadan, as with the Zahir of the Hadith, which is an apparent meaning of the Hadith, that they fasted the month of Ram, Ramadan, then they followed it up with the six days of Shu'a, meaning they completed Ramadan. So you should complete what you missed of Ramadan, then get the six days of Shu'a. So I ask Allah the Almighty to forgive us of our many sins and bless us to get those six days of Shawal. And may Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala bless us with Al Nafi or Rizkan Tayyib or Amal Mutakabilin and forgive us for any of our mistakes.